Hi guys, welcome back. In the past we've covered various handle wraps on our website and both on our YouTube channel. And recently when we put out a poll, we discovered that that's one of the things that you guys want to see a lot more of. And so today we'll be covering the West Country Whipping, which is this one right here. And maybe in the future we'll, we'll dive into some more of these. Let's get started. So we covered this wrap earlier with our paracord germ bomb. And so we're gonna just kind of go more in depth with the, the wrap. It's a little bit different when you just do it on a normal handle. And so I've got a knife here. Um, a little bit impractical as far as a survival knife goes, but it's gonna work good for our handle wrap. I'm gonna start by just putting some tape over the, the blade so I don't cut myself while working on it. First I'll just wrap it backwards so I don't get sticky tape on the blade. All right, so you'll need about 15 feet of paracord. Maybe a little bit more depending on the size of your handle. But start by finding the middle. Like on most of our projects. And then just hook it underneath at the, the top of your, your knife. So to start, we're just going to basically make an overhand knot on the top of it. And that should look about like this. And so I'll do that one more time. One cord on each side, lay one over, the other one goes the left cord. Make sure you do the same one each time. Left cord goes over the top and up underneath and pull the slack through. And there's your overhand knot. And then that's, that's the basic step. Flip it over and do the same thing. And again, the most important part of this is that you just keep the same side going under each time. So, like so again. And like that. And we're just going to keep on flipping it back and forth down the length of the handle. And that pattern will begin to develop where you've got your knot here, but it also crosses over itself on the side. So it's kind of a, a continuous spiral down the, the handle. All right, so now you'll see the pattern beginning to develop here. It has that crossover there and some longer stripes down the side. You'll notice on the side it gets a little bit uneven. And that's just due to these rubber stripes on, on this handle. On a smooth handle, it should end up a, a bit more uniform. Um, but we'll keep at it and see you at the end. So we made it to the bottom. I've got about a foot of paracord left here, so I was actually cutting it pretty close. I think I had about 18 feet at the beginning, 15 to 18 feet. So you might want to go with more around 20, depending on the size of your handle. Um, some people will finish this off by turning this bottom knot into a square knot, like this. And then they'll leave a little bit of a tassel. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut the ends off and flatten them so that they don't slip through. Just grab a scissors, cut it about a quarter to eighth of an inch away. Then if those are flattened well, they shouldn't slip around too much. And there's our finished handle wrap. This doesn't have to be used on knives, it's often used on like walking staves or 
Um, earlier this week, we published a tutorial on the Paracord Germ Bomb. So you can check that out. We'll put a link in the description. We also cover handle wraps a lot on our website. We've got photo tutorials if you want like, a step-by-step -step instructional. And we'll also link a blog article that we published a while ago on a bunch of different kinds of handle wraps. Kind of a quick encyclopedia of, of them, if you will, with links out to lots of tutorials. Um, so if you like this video, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.